orang tua kami telah mengingatkan bahwa kami harus melindungi hutan mangrove dan tidak menebanginya untuk dijadikan tambak. Sekarang dengan hilangnya sebagian besar mangrove, laut telah menyapu tanggul-tanggul tambak kami hingga masuk ke daratan sekitar 1 mil dan desa telah kehilangan 25 baris tambaknya. In the Demak district of North Java, Indonesia, the coastline is severely eroding as a result of sediment disturbance. Mangroves that protected the shore and held the sediment have been cut down and replaced by aquaculture ponds. To make matters worse, the land is sinking due to groundwater extraction by cities and industry. This combination of factors has left the coastline and communities exposed to the daily tides as well as extreme weather events that are occurring more frequently due to climate change. In efforts to quell the tide, concrete sea walls were placed, but these collapsed in the soft mud and blocked the sediment transport inland. Efforts to plant mangroves also failed because the water had become too deep. A new approach was needed to restore coastal safety and revitalize the local economy. A consortium of local communities, scientists, engineers, NGOs, and the government was brought together, led by Wetlands International, EcoShape, and the Indonesian government. Together, they designed an integrated solution to restore the mighty mangrove belt that once protected the land. To enhance coastal safety, permeable structures were constructed by contractors and villagers in the most severely eroding areas to trap sediment and create the right conditions for mangrove recovery. Today, communities own, monitor and maintain the structures. In other places along the coast, unproductive aquaculture ponds were converted back into mangrove forests. In addition, local farmers received training in sustainable aquaculture practices, which boosted productivity and tripled their income. These economic benefits enabled farmers to give up part of their aquaculture ponds to make space for mangroves. Sebelumnya kami sebelum mengikuti SL, saya menggunakan bahan-bahan kimia. Tapi hasilnya di situ kurang memuaskan karena sering terjadi yaitu kematian udang. Adanya SL di sini saya rubah sistemnya yaitu memakai yang ramah lingkungan yaitu komposisi atau penggunaan mall. Sekarang saya mulai yaitu berbagi ilmu, berbagi pengalaman saya dan berbagi keberhasilan saya kepada kelompok-kelompok di pinggiran pantai seluruh Kabupaten Demak. Saya tunjukkan pada teman-teman, ayo bangkit, ayo jangan malas, buktinya ada. In five years, this project has grown into a landscape scale initiative along 20 kilometers of eroding coastline in central Java. The use of permeable structures to bring back mangroves has been replicated by the Indonesian government in 13 districts. Sadly, the coastal restoration efforts in Damak are severely challenged by the sinking of the land, caused by unsustainable pumping of groundwater by cities and industries nearby. Young recovering mangroves are being washed away and ponds suffer from flooding. To facilitate a solution to this land subsidence, the project partners initiated water dialogues at national and provincial level and worked with communities to help them express their needs. Ini adalah rumah kami. Insya Allah kami berencana tetap tinggal di sini. Saya berharap proyek ini dapat menyelamatkan dan mengembalikan hutan mangrove kami. Saya merasakan ada harapan baru. What we have been pioneering in Indonesia can be replicated elsewhere. There is no standard blueprint and upscaling has to recognize that. Building with nature is going to be the answer to coastal protection in many places. Solutions like this that engineer with nature can help protect not only coastlines but also rivers, cities and beaches. We are sharing our knowledge, training the engineers of the future and removing policy barriers for building with nature instead of fighting against it. Join us in upscaling this approach in Indonesia, Asia and beyond. <laughs>